spiders have spun our gargantuan web the size of a football field in a Texas state park. It started off a beautiful fluffy white but has since turned brown because of all the thousands of insects that have flown into it. The monster web was spun by millions of tiny spiders all working together. As yet, no one knows why the spiders joined forces, but experts are on the scene looking for answers. And they say the web should last until the weather turns cold and the spiders start to die off. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? A flying saucer even? Well, almost. It's the Moller Sky Car, soon to be launched as a production model. It's taken aeronautical engineer Paul Moller three decades to get his Sky Car airborne. Not that it gets borne very high. Its rotating blades generate enough lift to lift the craft three metres nine feet off the ground. Doesn't sound very much, but Paul doesn't want it to fly any higher because at that low altitude, the craft won't be governed by the FAA and you won't need a pilot's licence to fly it. The M200G model should go on sale by the end of the year, priced £45,000, $90,000. sea slugs that are virtually blind and live alone get together once a year for a gang bang of epic proportions. How do they find each other? According to Australian scientists, they release incredibly potent pheromones, the slug equivalent of a Chanel No. 5 Viagra combo. Just a tiny amount of these attractants are enough to cause the slugs to flock together in a breeding frenzy that can last for days. Being hermaphrodites, slugs mate by donating and receiving sperm simultaneously. They die soon afterwards, but hey, at least they went out with a bang. Experts in the seafood industry are taking a keen interest in the research, hoping it will shed some light on how other sea creatures like squid breed and I bet the perfume industry is watching closely too. Time now for our robot of the week, the Roller Walker by Hiroshi Fukushima Robotics Lab in where else but Japan. Take a look at this hybrid bot in action. On rough terrain, it walks on its four feet, but when it arrives somewhere smooth, it rotates its feet, which actually wheels 90 degrees so it can roll. It propels itself forward using a wave-like motion and moves in the same way that roller skaters and ice skaters do. Well, that's it for this week's Stillwell Science. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye for now.